Hey everybody, Justin Seeley here, coming at you with another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. This tutorial picks up where yesterday's left off and where I show you how to save your graphic styles that you create inside of Illustrator as a graphic style library that you can then load into any project going forward. It's really cool and really easy. Sorry I didn't show it to you yesterday, but here it is, so check it out. Alright, so at the end of yesterday's tutorial, I sort of left you hanging. And I did that on purpose because I wanted something to talk about today. And so in this tutorial, what I'm going to be doing is walking you through how to take the graphic styles that I showed you how to create yesterday and turn those into a graphic style library that you can then use over and over and over again. And so, you know, I had a few people actually write into the blog saying, you know, hey, okay, I can save these things, but I can't exactly use them again in another document. I lose them. And that's true. And that's why I'm going to show you how to fix that today. So basically... I have three different variations of my scribble effect here. I've done a regular scribble, I've done dark kind of marker like scribble, and then a light kind of pen scribble down here at the bottom. And I've created graphic styles for each one of those. There's scribble, there's scribble marker, and scribble light. They're all three in my graphic styles panel. If you want to see how to do that, go back and watch the tutorial from yesterday. And so now I've loaded all these in the graphic styles panel. I'm ready to go, but I want to make them available to other documents. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is come up to the panel menu, choose Save Graphic Style Library, and then I'm just going to call this My Scribbles. Hit Save. So now, theoretically, those should be accessible to any document I have. And I actually have another document right here. As you can see, it comes in with the default graphic styles. None of the scribble effects are here. I have to go down to the bottom, choose user defined and then find my scribbles now in this case it's a little confusing because there's already one called scribble effects that's something that ships with illustrator it's not the ones that you saved so in this case it's user defined my scribbles they pop up just like this and so if I select this one and apply the scribble there it goes this one there's the marker and this one is the light and if I switch back you notice it's exactly the same for both and now any document I create, if I create a new one here, I have these styles now available to me at any time and I can then go in and type out some text and then apply any of these graphic styles to it to use. And so that's how you take a graphic style like we created in yesterday's tutorial and save it as a graphic style library to use in any project going forward. So, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you learned something, and uh, hope you're not too mad at me for leaving you hanging yesterday. Well, that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, you can post them here on YouTube or via my blog site at justinseeley.com. You can also send me a message via Twitter. I'm at Justin Seeley, and you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Thanks, everybody, for watching this tutorial. My name is Justin Seeley, and I'll see you again next time.